Right, okay, so, hello. It's not good, is it? That's not happening over there. Hello. Hello. Now, tonight I was going to show you how to make a cover for your iPad out of an old slipper sock. But I'm afraid I've had rather a dramatic week, and so instead I thought I'd read to you from my da. <laughs> Sunday, bake scone. Monday, Bob to Pickles the corner shop for a loaf of bread. They have a fine selection of thin white sliced and thick. I chose thick. <laughs> As the man gave me my change, he put it into my hand directly, rather than onto the counter. I don't know why. Perhaps he was making love to me. I quite liked it. Came home and lay down. Tuesday. I decided not to leave the house anymore, because every time I do, something dramatic happens. I know it sounds silly, but well, nothing silly can possibly happen if I stay at home and concentrate on straightening the tablecloth all morning. I know it sounds silly, but my husband Fred has taken up Sudoku, and I feel safe here at home. And then Fred said, oh no, and then the telephone rang, I'm sorry. And then the telephone rang. Oh, don't worry, Fred, I'll get it. Hello. Hello, are you the homeowner? Why, yes. How many windows do you have? Oh, I say, how thrilling, let me think. Now, we've got a front room with two windows, and the other front room has a bay window with three panels. Is that three windows, or do you say, or just one? Landing one, although you'd hardly know it. Fred will insist on piling it high with books. Bedrooms two, and a kitchen, and upstairs toilet. That's 13. Will that be all? Have you considered a new window system? What's that? Double glazing. <laughs> that does sound like fun, but I'm afraid I'd have to ask Fred first. Who's that? Your husband? And that's not a total little lie. You see, I'd been at home now for nearly half an hour and I felt boring, and so I told a little fib. No, he's not my husband. He's my lodger. He's busy at the moment with Sudoku. He's got two nines on the same line and that can't be right. It's like living in a nightmare. <laughs> Shall I call back at a more convenient time? Why, yes, who shall I say called? He wasn't particularly thrilling, but I liked his name, it made me smile. I'm Russell, Russell Crowe. No, <laughs> I say, I've done it. I put down the telephone, really, I've got no more of it. <laughs> Wednesday. Today I decided to concentrate on spring cleaning. I sponged down the skirting board, dusted the dado rail, and popped a knitted crinoline lady over our toilet roll. It <laughs> was very jolly. But something was bothering me, and for the life of me, I couldn't place it. I'd stopped worrying about Cheryl Cole Fernandez such in weeks ago now, really. <laughs> already managed to remove and blob out of our rug using a cotton bud and steam iron already that morning. And then Fred said, do you have much more cleaning to do? No, not really, Fred, no, just the windows. The windows? The windows? Not really, Fred, just the windows. All 13 of them unlucky for some, only he hadn't called back. Russell hadn't called back. He wouldn't call back. I'd been such a silly ninny. I closed my eyes, I had a terrible ringing in my ears and a blackness in my mind. He won't call you back, he'll never call you back, he's not going to call you back. And then I realised the ringing wasn't in my ears at all, it was the telephone. He'd call back! I love you! Russell, no! I call back! No, you can't! I've got to come round and replace all your windows! No! And then we can elope through one of them! But Russell! And then we can live on a houseboat and I'll polish your portholes! No! And you can stand on a river bank in a see-through dress and wave at passers-by! Oh, and we'll get married and the wedding bells will ring out. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. Are you going to get that? I don't understand. Or are you going to stand there with your eyes closed and let it carry on ringing all morning? <laughs> Suddenly I realised I hadn't answered the telephone at all. And then it was too late. Fred got there first. Hello. No, you're not interested. Goodbye. And he was gone. Russell was gone. And Fred started playing Scrabble on his own. I wanted to join in and make him look less pathetic, but I was so terribly wary. Oh, Fred. As I watch you now, as you fire the thruppany bit to make a propeller for your scale model dreadnought, while struggling to compile a six-letter word from N-K-E-R and two blanks, I realised it never would have been possible with Russell and I. He was a member of the Hoi Polloi. Would have had me mending his vest and joyriding, whichever it is you do. I better go now, dear diary, and get the dinner on. We're having swan on toast. Until next time. Goodbye. <laughs>